Christmas miracle. Would it be Christmas or any holiday for that matter if something didn't happen? A minor situation to a pretty major situation. Ah! Whoa! I won't forget this Christmas. <laughs> Looking good there, Hanky. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Okay. <laughs> well, it's Christmas choring time. We only got to put out two bales of hay, so that's good. And hopefully, hopefully old green here is going to crank. Christmas. It's been uh, it's been quiet. It's good. Kids open their presents this morning. I made this really good Christmas morning casserole. I'm gonna actually put it put it on the on the website and give y'all the recipe. I kind of combined two recipes I found online with what I had. <laughs> Wesley, uh, Lauren said it was the best one I've ever made, so I needed to write it down. So I'm gonna do that. Uh, we've just been lazy been laying around watching some westerns i might have taken a little nap we waited till it got a little warmer to come do this i'm gonna go back and clean stalls we put the horses out for the day it's just um it's a good cold christmas good day so One thing that um, shouldn't even be a thing. <laughs> I, I spent five minutes trying to get it, then he got down and couldn't get it. Um, so evidently the wind blew these gates in and it, it was just like one link short of going through. It was just tied a little too tight. Oh well, got it. Got it. That'll be the last bell. We only had to put out two bells today, so that's not bad. Maybe I've already said that. Anywho. Um, yeah, I'm just glad the sun is shining. It's in the 30s. Or it's supposed to get to 30, I think. Anyway, it was in the teens again this morning. We went from single digit to teens. So we're moving up. And evidently in the next four or five days, it's supposed to be in the 60s and raining. Crazy town, y'all. Crazy. Crazy weather. So, um, so we're going from, we're going from winter to spring in one week. <laughs> oh, I don't see him. i afraid the water's froze up again. Something here looks like it doesn't belong. Hmm. The bubble wrap didn't work. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay. I'd help you if I knew what to do. It's a long stretch there. Hmm. Look at those knees. Those new knees. There used to be a, there would be, a, there is a light bulb in here, but this is the one where the power line came down in the summer. Remember it was across the road? So we don't have power out here anymore. So that wasn't an option. 
So he's gonna try to thaw it again with a torch. You want to go up there and watch and see if the ball will come up. Just set that way you can see the ball. Okay. Would it be Christmas or any holiday for that matter if something didn't happen out of the ordinary? <laughs> Although this is not really out of the ordinary, is it? <laughs> I should have been recording. So I had to just break this one loose. It was frozen. This one's got a little ice in it. These are frost free, freeze free, freeze proof. Unless the water stops working and, and it's not flowing. So, anyway, my job is to stand here and let them know when it's working again and the balls rise. And the wind is still blowing today, <laughs> a little bit. At least it's 15 degrees warmer than it was yesterday. Well, I stepped, I've been standing up there for a very long time. And he's still trying to get it thawed out. So I decided to sit in the warm truck for a few minutes. My hands are getting cold, even in my gloves. Um, I don't know. I'm thinking it might be something else that's froze, like a valve or something, but I don't know how to check for that. So all I can do is hurry up and wait. <laughs> gone from a minor what we thought was probably a minor situation to a pretty major situation y'all <laughs> imagine that so he he tried for a very long time he held the torch on it he said it should have been thawed out by then still wasn't coming out he went up to the water we took the little thing off he put the torch on the valve now he's very mad at himself because he left it on there too long and it um, broke the valve, like melted it. So now the water, we have two issues. There is no water and the water is broke. Um, came over to the other well house, <laughs> the main well house, and realized that it wasn't working. The light was supposed to be on an automatic timer to come on. The switch had been turned off. I don't think I did that. I never touch anything in there. Anywho, <laughs> um, so he's thinking that that should get fixed easily once it thaws out. But the biggest problem now is getting the water fixed that he just broke. It's Christmas Sunday. Nobody's open. He's down in Papa's basement looking for something. That doesn't work. We're gonna. He's gonna have to call his friend Steve, who is a plumber and see if by some miracle he has what he needs. It's three o'clock. It'll be dark in a couple hours. Um, the problem is that is the only water source for that entire lot of cows. I don't know, there's 30 some cows and calves in that lot. They have to have water. We have to, we have, there's like no we have to get it fixed <laughs> today, shortly. So, what was a very uneventful, quiet Christmas is not anymore. Might as well be looking for a needle and a haystack. Okay, he is, um, he is not a happy camper. He's mad mad at himself for not uh, not going about it backwards. Should have started at that well house. That well house is the main well house that feeds all the other well house. Anyway. Uh, I feel so bad. I feel bad for him. This is a mess. We can't find the part. He's going, he's driving 20 miles to his friend Steve's Hoping he has what he needs because he's not really sure what he's talking about. So <laughs> he's going to see if he can piece something together from what he has on his truck, what Steve has on his truck. And, uh, oh boy. So I'm walking home. 
I told him, go, go, go. I'll walk half mile home. That's no big deal. I need to exercise anyway. I'm going to go do some stalls and this Christmas Eve is Christmas evening is maybe going to be a little different than what we had planned. Quiet evening with a good steak. We'll have the steak eventually. And what are, what are y'all doing? These children just pulled up here on their mini bikes with a sled. What is happening here? Don't worry about it. Well, that is definitely means to worry about it. What? Okay, okay. <laughs> really? We're gonna sled on <laughs> on this? Oh my goodness, are you kidding me? Okay, whatever. Whatever makes y'all happy. <laughs> going to collect some horses <laughs> i talked to lawrence well i texted him and asked if he had any luck and he said maybe and uh so evidently he got a piece of something maybe or i don't know and now he's over at earth and thumpers trying to make something <laughs> the sun is very close to going down. Uh, I just have visions of a cold, dark night trying to fix the water. <laughs> Stop. Stop. Why are y'all not running? Let's go! Come on now! Burning daylight! Come on, y'all! Hey, now I see, now I see a trot. Come on, here he comes! <laughs> Come on, Rip! Put it in high gear! Put it in high gear! Oh my goodness! We fabricated something. Now we're just hoping and praying that this is gonna work. Please, God, let this work. Okay, we think we've got the water fixed. Everything fit together. It fit perfectly. Y'all did a great job. And then we got to the very end. We thought we were done and the little valve was missing and we had to take it back off, but <laughs> we dropped a piece in the water. The water is cold. It's like on top of everything, it's just, it's cold and it's getting dark. And anyway, yeah, very dark. Two feed bags. Two feed bags to stick under the well door. Ha! 
Oh my goodness. Let's get two good feed bags. How about that? Okay, back to this faucet that was not working earlier. Please, 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 please. I hear it. Come on, baby. Come on. Uh. Oh. Oh, that's not good. Thank you, thank you, Lord. Good sun here, good sun. I hear it, babe. I hear it. I hear it running. And obviously the balls are up. Oh. He said it can drip tonight and he'll look at it tomorrow, but it's, it's working. It's working. Cows can have water again. Oh. Woo! <laughs> yeah, come on, girl. Some of them are coming. Okay, you're just gonna have to ignore my greasy hair, head, toboggan head situation. Okay, this day is done. This day is done. This day started amazing. Got a little, got a little wacky this afternoon, but um, I was just, <laughs> got emotional. I was just telling Wesley, my boy came in here and gave me a hug, which this mother appreciates when her 14 year old son just comes out of the blue and does that. I said, you know what I was thinking out there? I was thinking and I was praying and I was saying, you know, God, please just let this work. This has to work. We didn't realize like all of our cows were without water for the majority of the day. We're assuming it could have happened during the night anyway. This was like our only, our only, this was our only option to get, get the water going tonight. And, um, sorry, I forgot the microwave was going. Anyway, I said, you know, this just has to work. It has to work. You have to show up, God. <laughs> I started thinking it's Christmas. It's Christmas, y'all. The very first time God showed up on this earth in human form. As our Savior was on Christmas. What we celebrate as Christmas. And he showed up tonight. <laughs> There's just something about that. I won't forget this Christmas. The Christmas God showed up. Again. And he will. And he does. Always. Over and over and over and over again. Every time we look for him. But this one was really special. And I hope, uh, I don't know. I hope that means something to somebody else too. All right. The potatoes are done in the microwave. I'm going to smash them. Put some cheese and butter and salt and pepper and bacon bits. And then I'm going to cook some steaks. We're going to call this a very good Christmas. I do hope and pray that yours has been very good as well.